everyone. Hope everybody is doing very well. So I'm going to read this book. Sakura's Cherry Blossoms. Robert Paul Weston, Misa Saburi. Okay, they take this book for us. So about this book, it says, book was written in a certain style. So it says, Tanka. Tanka means like this story was written in a series of Tanka poems. A Tanka is a traditional Japanese poem with five lines and 31 syllables. The first three lines follow the same pattern as a haiku 575 but a tanka has two additional lines each with seven syllables for for example ame tanka a poem with five short lines count my syllables you will know i am finished when you get to 31 the first tanka poems were composed in the 7th century more than 1300 years ago. Whoa! If you enjoy Sakura's story, perhaps you could compose some tanka of your own. Okay, so let's read the book and see if we can figure it out, right? So we can write story the same style. I'm going to try to read the book as as a poem but I'm not sure whether I'll be, I'll be able to do it or not but I will try my best. So here is the first page of this book. See a girl with a woman, right? So this girl's name is Sakura. Sakura loved spring, her favorite time of year. This made perfect sense. Her name means cherry blossom. Trees that only bloom in spring. So that's Shakura sitting on a mat here, right? More than anything, she loved sitting underneath the tall cherry tree. Side by side with Ubhasan. That's her Ubhasan. Means grandma whose voice was warm like sunshine. So let's turn the page here. So here this is the next page. Together they sat in the shade of pink petals, watching them flutter. They ate bento box lunches. They told each other stories. Let's turn the page. So here on this page, Shakura is playing with other kids. I have watched these trees grow all my life, said Ubashan. This is how I learned. Seeing those blossoms in bloom is always finest with friends. So with friends, watching the cherry blossoms is always fun. Let's turn the page. So on this page, see her face here looks like she is in an aeroplane. Sakura's father would soon begin a new job in America. They would fly across the sea where a new life awaited. Hmm. That's where she is going. High up in the plane it seemed like a Miracle racing through the clouds. So fluffy and pale like rice, scooped fresh from Obasan's pot. Like this. Let's turn the page. So here, the other page. Their new house 
loomed up on a street with soaring trees, pepper in the ground, with shadows and light, but none had any cherry blossoms. Now she is in America, right? Look, a quiet boy here lived next door, gazing at night through a telescope. Sakura wanted to say hello, but she was too shy. Let's turn the page here. So here. Sakura's new school was a big boisterous place where each word was new. They nipped and snapped on her tongue like the tang of pickle plums. Neko became cat. Sora had become the sky. Kutsu was a shoe. In her language, Kutsu means shoe, right? Sakura tried very hard, but she often made mistakes. She missed Obasan. She missed the cherry blossoms, their soft and sweet scent. She missed stories and picnics and the whisper of petals. So here she is. She's, she is not so happy, right? She is missing her grandma and the environment she left behind in Japan. So on this page, one day Luke saw her, sad and still, on the front steps. When I'm down, he said, I find it helps to look up. If you want, I could show you. Shakura saw stars, sprinkles of light and the moon, pearl gray and shining. Its creators were like wide eyes, watching the whole world at once. And through this one, right? So let's turn the page. Look. On this page, what do we see? The starry sky and a big tree. There is a chance, said Luke. One of those stars has gone dark, but we still see it. Because its last rays of light have not yet reached us on earth. Flowers are like stars, said Shakura. They blossom, they sparkle, and then they fade. So we treasure them because one day they vanish. Let's turn the page. Look here. At night, Shakura and Luke. Luke stood very still. He had never thought of this. I suppose, he said, when you look up all the time, there are many things you miss. Luke was watching only the stars. Flowers are beautiful too. Shakura and Luke, soon they were friends who played, laughed and went exploring. Shakura for the first time had begun to feel at home. Now she has a friend. Between friends she found her words were limber and quick with no taste at all. They flipped and curled from her mouth as effortlessly as breath. So the English words are not, not hard anymore for her. So here, this page, here she is standing there. When the winter came, Sakura's mother told her, we have to go back. 
Not for long, but we must go. Obasan is very ill. So her grandma is ill. Let's turn the page here. They are going back, right? Shakura's hometown seemed much smaller than before in the cold bright sun. Even the tall cherry tree was shivering and leafless. So here, here is the tall cherry tree. No flowers, no leaf. Let's turn the page. He is back home. Mother had been right. Obasan was very sick, dodging in her bed. But hearing Shakura's voice, she awoke, her eyes dancing. Here, look, Shakura and her Obasan. My little blossom, she cried. Seeing you again makes me so happy. It is all that I wanted. Only this and nothing more. Shakura Subhasan is happy now. So on this page. This time on the plane, Shakura didn't marvel at the cotton clouds. She slept dreaming of a sky, churning with every season. Let's turn the page again. So here, Shakura, look, the top of the world map, right? Luke was excited seeing Shakura again, but when he asked her to go exploring with him, she said, no, she was too sad. She just came from back home. Maybe she's missing her obasan. So let's turn the page here. She was worried too. Okay, she was a little worried because her obasan was sick, right? She was worried too. Might she forget obasan? Her face, her laughter. With no cherry trees nearby, what was there to remind her? Don't worry, said Luke. I have a surprise for you. Just wait until spring. Shakura did. She waited. The days grew warmer. And then, okay, let's turn the page. And then what happened? In this page, look. Let's see. What happened then? The entire city burst to life, flowers blooming on every corner. By the river, both its shores blazed bright with cherry blossom. So here, look in this picture. Huge crowds of people had gathered to admire them. There were pink balloons, music picnics, a parade, and even a marching band. In America, also there, enjoy cherry, right? Cherry blossoms. Like the way the Japanese people enjoy their cherry blossom. Kura and Luke found a quiet place to sit with their families. They ate lunch and told stories. They, they chatted, they played, they loved. And Shakura knew what Obasan had said was true. On a warm spring day, watching cherry blossom bloom is always finest with friends. So she is with her friends now, right? Family and friends. Now she is feeling a little better. If you like the story, Sakura's Cherry Blossom. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.